So your church or a missionary sends you a Zoom link. What now? First, go to your email or private message on a social media app where the link was sent. Click on the link using your phone, tablet, or computer. If by phone or tablet, you may have to do this early before the presentation so you have time to download the Zoom app, test your audio and microphone. Follow the prompts. Join by video. Use computer audio or suggested audio. Okay, so you are online. Now what? Unless the host asks, or unless you are speaking, keep your audio on mute. During a presentation, the host can hear every paper crumble, every time you move your device, radios or televisions on in the background, and other people in the house or outside noise. Turn your video on unless the host requests that all participants keep the video off. Part of Zoom is face-to-face -face contact, like in-person ministry. Face-to-face -face is healthy for you, so turn your video on. Explore your tools. You'll most often use the chat tool a lot during Zoom. It's like passing messages while the teacher is talking. It's not only accepted, but welcome, especially because the chat tool doesn't distract from the presentation and allows people to engage while the presenter is speaking. A particular report showed that engagement is key to maintaining your concentration when using any online tool.